Thank y'all for tuning back in to your favorite channel, Pelican Bay K9 is giving it to you the way I always do, fair and unbiased, some gonna like it, some ain't, man, y'all hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet, thank you to all my new subscribers, everybody that just dropped in on the channel, appreciate y'all, um, don't forget to drop down in them comments as well, you know, big salute to the brothers and sisters that's down in the chat, that always be down in the chat, you know, um, Big shout out to all my brothers just starting their YouTube channels up. Big shouts out to you. Uh, good luck to you. Keep that thing going hard. Big salute to all the dog lovers and bulldog lovers from one side of the country to the other side of the world. We're about to get into that dog talk for the day. I got a bunch of news. We got um, some indictments to talk about. You know, and just some things on today's PBK9's dog talk, you know. PBK9 Dog Talk. Now, I want to spend a, send a special shout out, you know, uh, like I always say, to all the dog channels, all the, the YouTube dog channels. Um, I want to send, um, I want to, you know, speak on the digital dog show a tad bit. But, but first, you know, um, I do want to say uh, salute. To all the brothers that entered the dog show, all the ones that's, you know, competing, big shout out to all the brothers. Um, good luck, but, you know, you're not working off luck. You're working off your hard work. So, you know, still good luck. Um, but, yeah, man, like I said, I got a bunch of news. Um, digital dog show talk. I was going to ask Al for performance, you know what I'm saying? Um, I had a question for him about about his uh, rants and stuff like that, but uh, I'm going to leave that alone. Um, so, you know, just forget I even said anything. Well, actually, I didn't say anything about it, but, you know, just forget I mentioned, mentioned it. Um, now, my question is, before we get into the Digital Doll Show Talk and then before we get into our news and stuff, my question to my brothers down there and my sisters down there. If you had one, like I was telling y'all about, that grabbed my thumb, my thumb when I was flirt polling him and he wouldn't let go, no matter what I did, he would not let my, th my thumb go. He thought he had the actual cloth. I slapped him, I yelled, I, I, I wrestled him. He would not let my thumb go. You know, now would you get rid of that dog is what I'm asking you. Is that a dog that should be gotten rid of? Or, you know, can you chalk that up as your mistake? I made a mistake by putting my hands too close to his mouth during a time where I know he was trying to grab something. So would you, ch would you chunk that up as your mistake or would you get rid of that dog, you know? And when I tell you the fear of my losing my thumb was in my heart at that time, you know, it was, you know, I was scared. I'm not going to lie to you. Um... I've been dealing with pit bulls all my life. Never been bit by one to the point where I can't get him off me. Till he don't want to get off me, you know. And then it's to the point where he bit me, but he not going at me. You know, he thinking that my thumb is his toy. So, you know, is the dog wrong? Or should the dog have um, listened to me when I told him to let go, you know, or uh, did some type of reaction, you know, to let go of my thumb? You know, who fault is it far as, uh, which should, should I get rid of the dog? Or, or what, you know, was keeping the dog the best thing to do? 
me myself, you know, um, what I did, I chunked it up. I chunked up a deuce. Uh, my, my hand was numb for about a week. My thumb was numb for at least about a week. My hand, my whole hand wasn't numb. Just my thumb area where the dog was biting at. Um, that was numb for a while. I had a nice little hole. There wasn't no hole for uh, stitches or anything like that. Just nice little hole was there. Um, I just chunked it up. You know what I'm saying? Um, just dog man shit, you know. But what I'm asking you is, with another person who wasn't as experienced, with another person who wasn't thinking as fast, you know, or with a child, you know, uh, a whole nother scenario could have happened. Even with me, a whole nother scenario could have happened. Because, I mean, I really, literally struggled everything to get my thumb out of his mouth to the point where I, I felt like I was fighting against an alligator. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what would you did, you know? Some people might be saying they'd have put a dog down instantly. But like I said, as soon as I got slipped my thumb out of his mouth and I chunked the flirt pole over this way, he 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 broke off at the flirt pole like he was trying to do from the start. He thought my thumb was part of the flirt pole. You know, that's what he thought. My thumb was part of the flirt pole because when I had him between my legs and I, I you know, was trying to grab the flirt pole out of his mouth, he reached for a better grab and this time he got my thumb with it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just tell me what y'all do down in the, in the chat, man. Um, What you got rid of them, put them down, or keep it moving. You know, just chunk it up to the game. Just a dog man wound, you know. And uh, let's keep this thing going. Let's keep this thing going. Now, when we talk about the, uh, digital, the Samurai Kennel Digital Dog Show, to all my brothers and my sisters, you know, um, they're looking, looking for the, the brothers so y'all can put y'all votes in. Samurai Kennel, uh, brother Andre Williams on Facebook. Contact him. He, he you know he can show you how to do the voting and which dogs, and he gonna do the videos and show you which dogs are up for voting and that type of stuff. But um, yeah, uh, whether you deal with dogs, if you're rocking with the bay, chime in on that brother Facebook channel. Chime in on that brother YouTube channel. Drop them votes in. You know what I'm saying? Drop them votes in. And like I said, big shout out to all the brothers that's competing. You know, um, it just is what it is, man. It just is what it is. Big salute and big shout out to all the brothers competing. Uh, in a minute, man, I'm going to have this news thing where it's like a necessity. Where you you know you, especially when you're dealing with your dogs, it don't matter what kind of dog person you is. You know, it's going to be a time where, you gonna want to turn on the TV and see some dog news or what's going on around this world or what's going on around this country when it comes to these dogs and when it comes to these dog owners. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, in a minute, that dog news is gonna be a necessity to the point where you feel like you need that dog news. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's exactly how I'm trying to do it, man. Exactly how I'm trying to do it. Um, we got a we got a bunch of animal cruelty things we gonna get into, but first. I want to get into uh, an arrest that it was made on multiple businessmen, like business owners, you know, um, teachers. A lot of people was arrested in this situation. You know, animal cruelty as well. Um, fraud. When I say fraud, they, there's dog people saying they're sending their dogs to get trained. They're not getting trained. Um, so y'all check this out. Like I said, a lot of people was involved. But we got, you know, a couple main corporate, the main corporate, but just a lot of people involved with the whole situation. Um, and the number of complaints don't make sense. You know, when you start talking about a brother who supposed to be training dogs, and then you start talking about 50 and 60 complaints, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that don't add up right. You know, that don't add up right. But y'all check this out. PBK9 is giving it to you the way I always do. CNN satellites out of space. Let's get into that news. The first at four, a Huber Heights man is indicted over 100 charges related to dog trainer services. Victims say that he never provided. Law enforcement says they have more than 65 victims alleging theft and animal cruelty. Two News reporter Seth Byrd joins us live in the studio to walk us through all of the charges related to that incident. 
This 52-page indictment details more than 130 charges against three people. They're accused of defrauding dozens of people who are paying for dog training services. Most of those charges coming against 44-year-old Jason Thomas Jones of Heber Heights. The indictment alleges Jones claimed to offer victims obedience training for dogs and training for support for animals through Dayton Dog Trainer LLC. Documents show he charged victims thousands of dollars to train the dogs, plus follow-up training. Instead, authorities say the animals returned to their owners untrained with signs of neglect and maltreatment. Follow-up training never happened. The alleged scheme costing victims over $200,000. Jones is charged with 94 counts of theft, 23 counts of cruelty to companion animals, and one count of engaging in a pattern of corrupt activity. Two other women were also charged in the defrauding scheme, along with a count of engaging in a pattern of corrupt activity. Warrants for the arrest of all three suspects have been issued. We spoke with one of the victims who says these actions are unacceptable. Well, it makes me mad enough that he took our money, but it makes me even more upset that he's not caring for animals. When you do an animal dirty, you're at the bottom of my list. Let's talk a little bit about a little bit of this North Carolina news. Um, some of y'all brothers might be familiar with him, some of y'all might not. The brother Stoney Green, okay, he's running for office in North Carolina. Uh, one, of, one of them chairs in North Carolina, as far as the councilman or the seat. or He's running for office in North Carolina. But this is the big deal right here, right? He stepped down because of, he been getting a lot of complaints or a lot of flack because of the fact that he was caught at a dog fighting bus somewhere or another up, up north last part of last year or sometime last year or sometime some whenever i ain't sure exactly when it was you know what i'm saying but he was caught in watching the match you know he was caught watching the match now uh, you know the people that knew about this they're they're calling for this resignation and all that type of stuff now my question here is you know because he was watching a, a particular show in the past doesn't make him a bad person now. You know, doesn't make him a bad person now. Anybody deserves the right to change, for one. Now, my first thing is, we worrying about this brother because he went to a dog fighting match. Which we all know that's wrong. And we all agree that that's wrong. But the thing is. We have people who run for these chairs who are molesters. We have people that run in these chairs. There's a whole lot more molesters, child abusers, and all, and women rapers and women beaters and all that type of stuff in these, holding these chairs in these government spots than one brother who was watching a dog fight. You know, one brother who's watching a dog fight. You kick him out, but you keep a molester, you keep a child abuser, a woman beater in that chair. But you want to kick the man out because he was so-called at a dog fighting show or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You can do your little research on uh, the guy named is Stony Green, North Carolina, running for, like I said, running. He's running for a, a chair or a seat in the North Carolina government system, and he he stepped down. But he will be up for re-election. I want to say uh, in two years. So I am kind of think he said he's going to be running. Stony Green. Um, great brother as far as I know. All I know is when it comes to him stepping down because of a dog fight, then that means you need to make all them other chairmen, all them other people who got the seats, all them other councilmen, all them other governors, all them people with them child molestations, them, them, them messing with, the beating up the wives, all this other stuff that's far more worse than Stony Green watching a dog fight in the past. You know? Now, my second point is we can see people getting up here protesting about Stony Green, but what are people that's protesting about that that home defense man that got caught up in the dog fight in, in Merlin? And nobody ain't saying nothing about him losing his job. Nobody ain't saying nothing about him stepping down. And we done heard about that since last year. Not one, we haven't heard no information on one government official that's been tied up in dog fire. Why hasn't he been told to step down? And why haven't the public, because our taxpayer dollars 
are the ones that's paying him. So you mean to tell me my taxpayer dollars is going to pay for a home defense worker who's been convicted, not convicted, but been busted for dog fighting? He wasn't busted looking at the show. He was part of the show. You know, you mean to tell me my taxpayers' dollars go to that and we can't get no info on none of that stuff that he got going on up there? Why isn't he been told to step down? But you want to mess with Stoney Green in North Carolina because he was watching the fight. And if I ain't mistaken, the office that Stoney Green is running running for it, it can't hurt none of us. When I say can't hurt us, when you work for the home of defense, when you work for the government, when it calls, when I'm talking about like the homeland security and all that type of stuff, anything like that, your job can affect anybody out here. Whatever your uh, the job is, your important job is to keep this country safe. Now, if you're out there involved in a dog fighting bus, how is you keeping this country safe? But you don't hear nothing about him having to step down, no, none of that. See, that's what Pebble, Pelican Bay K9 channel is for to bring light to the things that need light to them and show you how it is, the way it is, the way it is. You know, you have different cases. Picketers, picketers, they be here all year long and then all of a sudden they disappear. When you see them protesters disappear, when they've been showing up to every single thing you got, everything you've been doing, and all of a sudden you see them protesters disappear, pay attention to that shit. You know, they ain't disappeared for nothing. Pay attention to the homeland of defense worker who nobody seen lose his job, who nobody seen nothing. The only thing a brother willing to say is, oh, you know he going to say something, this and that, and this. And Get the hell out of here, man. We need the real dog talk. What's going on? And that's why I give it to you. That's why I give it to you and how I give it to you and care less who like it. And what they got to say about it. And I got some more news tonight I'm going to deliver. You know, more news tonight I'm going to deliver for you. PBK Nines, man, keep doing it the way I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? Doing it the way I'm doing it. They hating on Stony Green, but we ain't heard nothing about that homeland defense worker busted in that dog fighting bus last year. And we don't give a damn if he black, white, what color he is. We still want to know what the hell going on. My taxpayers' dollars ain't going to that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, and we got to start talking to some brothers in some high places to get this shit some recognition behind it. You know, it just is what it is. <laughs> the more you don't hear about it, the more another brother going down about some shit <laughs> that ain't, he probably ain't even tied up in. You know, it just is what it is, man. Is what it is. PBK Nines. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to donate to that channel, dollar sign, Pelican Bay Kennels in the Cash App. If you want to donate to the channel, everything is appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Everything is appreciated. Now, let's get to this news. We got 21 dogs found in the panhandle of Florida. Abuse, Scotts Bluff County. PBK Nines, giving it to you. Fair and unbiased, raw and uncut. Let's get into it. County Sheriff's Office received a report of several dogs locked in a camper trailer with no food or water at Captain Critters Country, Country Campground west of Scotts Bluff. At around 1035 a.m. yesterday, deputies and investigators served a search warrant on the camper trailer and found 21 dogs. The dogs included Chihuahuas, Dachshunds, Boxers, Labradoodles, and St. Bernards, along with puppies born within the last few days. The dogs were found locked in cages with no food or water, laying in their own urine and feces. The larger breeds were locked in cages they could barely stand up in. The dogs were secured and transported to the Panhandle Humane Society, where they will be given full examination, treatment, and bathed. As a result of the investigation, J.D. Sims, age 45, and Sidonia Sims, age 40, both of Lyman, were arrested by the Scotts Bluff County Sheriff's Office and transported to the Scotts Bluff County Detention Center. They were charged with 21 counts each of cruelty to animals. And now we got some news, some more news. I got the, the, the federal dog stuff that we're going to talk about. But first, I want to ask Chico a question. You know, Mr. Chico Lopez, I want to ask you a question. You know, because I'm... I'm seeing a trend with you the same way I'm seeing a trend with some of these guys out here, you know. 
You can't talk good about yourself without talking bad about somebody else. Mr. Chico, is what I'm asking you is, can you talk good about the breed? Do you do anything good for this breed without talking bad about what somebody else is doing? Without saying anything about the swamps? That's when you could ask yourself, are you doing anything for the breed? You know, what do you bring good to the table for this breed of the American Pit Bull Terrier? Mr. Chico Lopez is what I want to know. You know, that's what I want to know. This question is not to bash. You know what I'm saying? Talk no trash, no none of that. Plain out simple question. Do you ever talk good about the breed without talking bad about the people in your same sentence? Mr. Chico Lopez is what I'm asking you. Because you one like me always saying we do, trying to do something good for this breed. Trying to do something good for this breed. But what you're doing, when I conversate with you, can you tell me what you're doing without knocking the next man? You know? Can you tell me what you're bringing to the table without knocking the next man? Everybody got dogs, everybody got puppies, everybody got good-looking dogs, good-looking pedigrees, you know. So at the end of the day, the, uh, well, where I'm starting to see, a lot of the hate, a lot of the name-calling, a lot of the uh, the so-called swamps, this, this and that, and this and that talk come from uh, everybody got papers, everybody got good dogs, everybody got pit bulls, but in order to make yourself seem different, you got to tear down this man. You know, instead of just coming with yours when you elevate and elevate and elevate and then you ain't got to tear him down. You know, if you bring that much good to the breed, then, you know, the swamps don't make you as mad as the swamp so-called make you. Because like I said before, Mr. Chico, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, you, you say you're a Christian fella. You know, none of us are perfect. We all know that. Nobody is perfect. But for the animosity that you keep for brothers in the pit bull game, when it come to name calling, when it come to your dogs, if I get up here and I talk about, ask your question about your dogs, talking about your dogs got to lead to you talking about the swamps. You know, and my whole question is, can you talk good about yours without even Discussing the swamps. You know what I'm saying? A lot of brothers can't. And that's where the problem come in at too. A lot of brothers can't talk good about their own without talking bad about the next man's, you know, product. But hey, I guess that's just the American way, like I always say, man. I guess that's just the American way. Now, now we got a Haines City man. You know, I tell y'all I got that news for you tonight. We got a Haines City man. Uh, they got him on camera stabbing two chihuahuas, taking them, dropping them off in a pond. <laughs> Walking, taking them, dumping them in a the pond, and wipe his hands off. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what you're going to get it first at, man? You know what you're going to get it exclusive from? PBK9s, man. PBK9s. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to drop down in the chat. Drop down in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Big salute to everybody. Hey, city man, arrested. Animal cruelty, stabbing two chihuahuas. Let's get into it. Tonight, a Haines City man is in jail. He is charged with a disturbing case of animal abuse. Investigators say surveillance cameras recorded him, and you can kind of see him walking toward a pond with two small dogs in a neighborhood before they say that he killed those dogs. So the details are really hard to stomach, but Haines City police tell us that Angel Burgos stabbed the chihuahua mixes in the Hidden Lake Preserve neighborhood. 
They say that he then threw their bodies in the pond. According to investigators, Burgos tried to cover his tracks by throwing away his clothes and a knife. They say that's what you're seeing in that surveillance video of him with the trash cans right there. Tonight, he faces a number of charges, including two counts of felony animal cruelty. Investigators have not shared why this may have happened. Now, you know, this next particular case is a rather strange case. Um, I know when brothers get hungry, when they smoke that, you know, smoking that thing and they get the munchies, you want to go get a hot dog, get that thing loaded, uh, ketchup, mustard, chili, uh, relish, coleslaw, you know, get it fully loaded, onions, everything, you know. But in this particular situation right here, we, we got a brother who kind of owns something else. When I say own something else, um, I'm not talking about the drug. I mean, he on another level than most of my brothers probably is down in the chat. Probably, I hope, all my brothers down in the chat and my sisters. Yeah, he on a different level than us, man. He on a different level. Star Trek. He, in the, he at the moon and all that. He over there. We over here, he over there. You know what I'm saying? This brother got a little hungry and decided he was going to eat the dog. You know what I'm saying? He was going to eat the dog. Yeah, you heard me. I said it. Eat the dog. You eating a hot dog, he eating a hot dog too. You know? It's just two different ways. Like, you got the sun and the sun. Sun that you my son. And then you got the sun that's shining. It's two different ways. Hot dog and hot dog. You got a hot dog fully loaded. He got a hot dog fully loaded. And he mean fully loaded. You know what I'm saying? But y'all check this out, man. PBK9's giving it to you. The way I always do. We got the federal dog fighting charges. So y'all stick stick in here. Don't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to keep giving it to you. But I got to give you that damn homeboy got hungry. What do I mean? What, what? Hey, I tell you what, man. Now, if it get to a point, or it was to a point where uh brother didn't have nothing to eat, I mean, I'll go get some, steal some canned goods out the grocery store or something. Some meat out of the grocery store. I mean, I'm just not going to eat no dog. I go, I go kill me a deer. I even the, the 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 I can go get a raccoon. You know what I'm saying? I get a raccoon, a deer, or we'll find some kind of animal in the woods like that. You know what I'm saying? Before we go the method to go get a dog. You know, dog gotta be when you you in the middle of the Amazon lost and you ain't ate in a week. You ain't drunk nothing and you ain't ate in a week and the dog just come running up on you. Oh, I don't know where he came from, but I be damn a dog, you know. Then maybe I can understand you got to eat him, you know. He got to go on the grill just like anything else. <laughs> but we ain't talking about you lost in no island or lost out there in the wilderness somewhere for a week with no water, no food. No, man. <laughs> we can't do it, man. We can't do it. Let's get into it. A Delaware County man is accused of killing and eating a dog. Delaware County District Attorney Sean Smith announced the indictment of 32-year-old James Lore of Margaretville. Lore is charged with aggravated animal cruelty for allegedly killing the dog with a knife and then attempting to cook the carcass and eat the animal's organs. The DA says it's unclear who owned the dog. Now, I, I want to say something real quick. Because you, you know something, we, everybody probably noticed this. Everybody probably noticed this. The only brothers that really hate and the only brothers that really get mad, even down to these local guys at Conway, the only ones that hate and the ones that get mad is the ones that never really did shit. The ones that want to do it now. <laughs> they want to do it now and then a different, whole different time zone. You know what I'm saying? Whole different time zone. And them, them the ones that you really see hating and doing and really being mad about a lot of stuff and have all this slick stuff to say on another person's page or another person's channel or about a person. It be the ones who haven't did it. They want to do it. You know? And that's just all it is to it, man. All it is to it. Because, oh, if I get up here and say, oh, the game ain't the same. The game is not what it was back in the days. You can't do what I did back in the days. Then they want to get mad and say, oh, stop trying to say um, uh, 
uh, because you finished or this and the next person got to be this. Listen here, man. You ain't got to be finished. Them folks say you're finished. You know what I'm saying? Them folks say you're finished already. You just don't know it. You just don't know it. <laughs> you're walking around with a damn dog and them folks telling you already you're finished. You're finished, man. Stick a fork in you. And that's what they get mad about. Because I ain't telling you to stop. Keep doing what you're doing. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing and don't get mad when you see your ass on the news. Because you don't get mad at your local 13, your local 15, and all the other local news when you're watching at 6 and at 11 o'clock and all that, 10 o'clock. When you're watching that, you don't get mad. Hey, ma, look at oh, so-and-so. Oh, hey, baby, look at so-and-so up here. So-and-so up here. Yeah. So don't get mad when the bass get to talking. You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad. Like I said, I don't give a damn anyway. Anyway, you know, and like I said, big salute to the brothers in the Digital Dog Show. Y'all don't forget to vote Mellow Yellow. You know what I'm saying? Mellow Yellow, that ain't, you can't vote her, but you can look for her. Go, go there looking for her. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, if you rock with Pelican Bay, even if you, you don't care about uh, the dog shows or whatever, go to that dog show and vote for the bay. You know, vote for the bay. It is, is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Uh, big shout to all the, like I said, all the contestants, everybody competing. Every single person from the top to the bottom, from one bloodline to the next, from the puppies to the grown dogs. You know what I'm saying? And one big salute to the whole Shogun crew. You know what I'm saying? Um, big salute to y'all brothers. You know what I'm saying? Big salute to y'all brothers. Uh, got that digital dog show thing going. And like I, like I always say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, do my, I do my advertising on the strength of certain folk. And because I, I want to. You know, not because I'm paid to. Not because I want to be like somebody, but hey, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Cause my, my folks seem, we already said this before, our folks seem like the only folk. And I done heard me in there say this before, after I said it. Our folk is the only folk that, that seem to glorify doing bad and, and think doing good. It, it, they, they, they talk about it. You know what I'm saying? They pick at it. They don't want to. It's not cool. It's not the it's not the good thing to do. The bad thing over here is the good thing to do. Our folk the only one do that. That's why y'all having such a hard time with these dogs in this dog situations. You know? And one thing, a lot of y'all brothers gotta get off y'all high horses. A lot of y'all got too much pride to say, oh man, you're doing a good job with this dog. Or you doing a good job with that dog. So you'd rather go up there and hate or go up there and, and call a brother a name or something like that or something like this. You know what I'm saying? You'd rather do that. It's easier for you. You know? And like I said before, a lot of the brothers who do that, a lot of them don't have nothing to bring to the table. You know? And I sit back, I analyze, and I look at things. Certain things that I see people gassed up about on these dog shows. I've been doing this shit two years or three years ago. I'm talking before you even knew I was doing a, a, a damn pit bull video. You know what I'm saying? Certain things, but it just is what it is. We, sometimes we pay attention to what we want to pay attention to. You know? That's why I always say, you know, when it comes to uh, like training videos and all other kind of stuff, brothers don't understand. You know what I'm saying? You can say don't use that black card or don't use this white card for this or for that. <laughs> At the end of the day, man, Brothers have it hard no matter how we trying to do it. And sometimes it's our own fault. Same way I was saying we don't want to big up the good shit. We only want to big up the bad stuff. So when you get a brother up here straight he's talking about some real training stuff, now he only get 200 views. You know what I'm saying? He only get 300 views. Talking about some real deal Holyfield stuff. But let him get up here and talk about a bunch of bullshit that no nobody can benefit from. Everybody want to watch it. I just don't understand it. Don't understand it. But like I said, me and my dogs going to keep doing us. 
We're going to keep training these brothers and sisters, dogs. We train all breeds, as can see, you know, all breeds. I don't care what kind of dog it is. If you're trying to get them trained, holla at your boy, you know, and only be realistic about things. You know what I'm saying? Be realistic about it and understand I do not touch a dog for free. You know, I don't touch dogs for free. Um, any advertising, uh, I got a weekly fee on advertising. I got weekly fees on advertising. Uh, big shout out to all my brothers and sisters out there. You know, big shout out to all my brothers and sisters out there. Let's get into that Boston thing. Cause this, they said this is the first time in history that federal dog fighting charges have been brought up in Boston. The Boston or Massachusetts area. You know, first time that dog fighting charges ever went federal. And that's this particular case right here. Um, and like I always say, man, man, uh, the news is to bring the light. Not the light upon that brother or that sister, you know, but the light onto the game, which you think is a certain way. It's to let you see how this game is. You know, like I always say, let you see how it is and you make your decisions from there. You know, Boston dog fight, federal dog fighting charges. You know, it just is what it is. From the top of the board to the bottom of the board. From ro from way past Maine to, to the bottom past, down past the Keys. You know, it's a bulldog thing. But, it, hey, they letting you see. You either got to be doing the right things with these dogs or you won't be doing nothing with these dogs and you're going to be doing time. PBK Nines, y'all check it out. I got two videos from this, you know, because I like to get it from a couple different angles. I'm just one, one news anchor. In case you want to get mad at me, I'm going to let you see the other anchor and the other anchor. So y'all can choose out of them other ones which ones y'all want to be mad at. Instead, so y'all won't be mad at me. I'm trying to put more and more anchors up here to let you see. <laughs> a lot of y'all can't comprehend. And a lot of y'all just forget that the news that you're getting, <laughs> the news that you're getting about something or whatever I'm giving you is coming from another news anchor. I'm not blessed yet to give y'all that firsthand news on all that stuff. You know, one day I will be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for right now, Y'all check it out, man. And now to a disturbing story out of Plymouth County. The first federal dog fighting case charged in Massachusetts. A handsome man accused of abusing dogs at his home. Boston 25 News reporter Joanna Morris was in federal court today. And we want to warn you, some of the details you're about to hear are upsetting. According to this indictment, 13 pit bull like dogs were taken from the suspects home here in Hanson, as well as another residence in Townsend. According to these documents, several of the dogs were sick and injured. And we just want to warn you, some of the details in this report could be disturbing for some viewers. John Murphy was arrested early Friday morning and is facing nine counts of possessing animals for use in an animal fighting venture. Court documents show this comes after a years long investigation into alleged dog fighting across multiple states, including Massachusetts, Maine, New York and Florida. According to the indictment, investigators found syringes, a treadmill, dog training and fighting literature and more items associated with an illegal animal fighting operation in the homes. His attorney, Lauren Thomas, claims these are everyday items. He does work in construction and he does work in that area where you may need a staple gun. Boston 25 News was on East Washington Street in Hanson last year when authorities raided Murphy's home. I rang the doorbell Friday, but no one answered. Prosecutors say Murphy allegedly belonged to private dog fighting groups on Facebook used to share fight results and injuries sustained by fighting dogs, among other things. A family friend leaving court says he doesn't believe the allegations. What they're uh, accusing him of just isn't true. Court documents say several of the animals seized had old and fresh injuries, diseases, parasites, and none were spayed or neutered. The animals are now in the custody of the U.S. Marshal Service. Murphy is expected back in court on Wednesday at 12.15 in Worcester. In Hanson, Joanna Boris for your local station, Boston 25 News. 
Like I said, I got two videos for this. Massachusetts, federal dog fighting charges, federal dog fighting arrests. Um, from what it sounds like, uh, this happened last year, the last part of last year. But I guess the feds took it over and they brought their charges in on it. Um, and like I said, this this isn't to say whether that brother's guilty or not guilty. You know what I'm saying? Um, this just to let you know that when you think you're creeping and crawling or when you think you're doing whatever you're doing, them folk got a mission going on out there. It's called Operation Shut Pit Bulls Down. Five o'clock, I'm J.C. Monahan. And I'm Colton Bradford. A Massachusetts man is facing federal charges accused of running a dog fighting ring. This was at his home in Hanson. We have been following this investigation since last June. NBC 10's Oscar Margain is live with new developments. Oscar? Yeah, guys, that's right here. And all the family here that we talked to today, plus the lawyer saying all of these accusations are not true. Now, the Fed said that all the signs were there. You know, they also uh, seized several pit bulls, nearly a dozen of them. And also, they say they seized a lot of training equipment. All of this evidence here as part of the first federal uh, case here of duck fighting prosecuted in Massachusetts. Mr. Murphy, can you set the record straight about the dog fighting? It was done. Nothing's been proven. John Murphy's father defending his son outside of federal court in Boston, where he's accused of having nine pit bulls that were trained to dog fight. Did you witness any of these dogs being mistreated, sir? Never. The 50-year-old was arrested at his home Friday morning. It comes nearly 10 months after police raided two of his properties in Hanson and Townsend, taking a truckload of items, including this dog kennel. They had a ton of officers at 5 o'clock in the morning, and they arrested him on his way to his car. His attorney speaking on Murphy's behalf. She says investigators have it all wrong. These dogs were in good condition. To claim that these dogs are vicious and being trained um, to be mean it is just not true. In the indictment, prosecutors allege that Murphy was found in possession of a number of items often associated with dog fighting, including intravenous infusion equipment, syringes, antibiotics, injectable steroids, a skin stapler, all sorts of treadmills, and the list goes on. They may have nothing to do with the dogs. It's just part of his gear. Investigators say several of the dogs taken from Murphy showed scarring, one later dying from cancer while in their custody. Bryn Rogers from the MSPCA says these can be potential signs of animal cruelty, adding that dogs often die in fighting matches. The dogs that do survive often don't get the veterinary care that they need for their wounds and injuries because the person knows what they are doing is illegal and doesn't want to bring the animal to a veterinarian. Now, Murphy is facing nine counts. He could spend up to five years behind bars for each one, plus a fine. Tonight, he's out on bail, but he will be back in court next week, this time in Worcester. Reporting live in Boston, Oscar Margain, NBC 10 Boston. You know, if you're acting like you can't see it, that's what it's channel for, man. And that's why they get so mad. That's why they get so mad, because, like I said, that news don't run out, but them pedigrees do. The pedigrees, <laughs> them pedigrees run out. I don't give a damn how many we got. We can get all the damn pedigrees we got between all us brothers in the dog game. Them pedigrees run out, but that news don't. That news don't. That news don't. You know, and like I said before, I don't discriminate. Make that damn news. Your ass going to be on Pelican Bay K-9 Dog Talk. You know? And hey, you can't get mad at me. I spent a whole year trying to tell you. Make other moves. Spent a whole year giving you other activities to get involved with that brothers got going on in the Pitbull game. But hey, you rather call names and go about and do your little own thing and then you get jammy jam. Then you want to come running and crying back over here, you know. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know, some going to like it, some ain't. It ain't our fault. It ain't my fault, you know. Um, like I said, that dog news in a minute going to be a necessity. Like these brothers with these dog papers, you know what I'm saying. Like these brothers with these dog papers. Like I said, I'm not going to keep y'all brothers and sisters here too long today. Just had a few questions all too long here tonight. Big salute to my brothers and sisters in the UK. 
like I always said, man, big salute to all my UK folk, all my Asia folk, you know, all my folk in the islands, all my folk in Africa, you know, all my folk in South America, all through North America, you know, just got to keep bulldogging. Seen some great El, T El Tidra dogs lately. Them brothers were showing me, man, some great dogs off that stuff. Um, his name kind of got kind of quiet for a while, you know. Name got kind of quiet for a while, but uh, producing great dogs. Don't mean he ain't producing great dogs. But yeah, man, a lot of y'all brothers better stop hating, cause as you can see, it ain't gonna stop me. You know, um, it ain't my fault. I got real yellow dogs. It ain't my fault. I ain't, ain't trying to sell a puppy off like that. Some of that fake shit. See, a lot of y'all boys, <laughs> you won't come talk. You won't show them pets, and you got an excuse about them pets. <laughs> you got an excuse. At the end of the day, if we discussed it and talked about it, preferably that Red Devil stuff, you know, as long as you okay with knowing that your dogs produce however they produce, but it's really not off that shit that you think they off, it don't matter about that, but they really not off that. As long as you all right with that, then I'm all right with it, you know? When them black dogs start popping up and them thug and thor dogs and all that type of stuff, as long as y'all all right with it, you know, how am I all right with it? But just know that the real know to know. You know, the real know to know. And like I always say, man, I don't mind getting up here talking dogs with any brother that want to go dog for dog when, you know, how brothers get when y'all want to talk dog for dog. But you just got to bring your dog stories up. I can't be the only one doing it. You know what I'm saying? Can't be the only one doing it, man. But anyway, I'm going to start focusing a lot more on my training and stuff like that. Giving y'all the dog news as well. You know, but um, I just got to do what I do. And like I said before, show the difference between me and the next man without uh doing it off jealousy. You know, a lot of brothers only do things when they see another brother do it. You know, I just got to do it. I'm, I do my thing regardless. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're doing anything or not. You know, brothers are only do, do something this way when they see other brothers do it. Or brothers are... Now they brothers, everybody want to get on the YouTube, not YouTube, Facebook, short little videos and all the other kind of stuff. When, you know, brothers put put in this work, excuse me, to do certain things. But, like I said, it's, it's easy to hate. You know, uh, it's easy to make, make up things. It's easy to want to feel important. But it ain't easy to put that work in with them dogs. Make a name for that dog. You know what I'm saying? It ain't easy to do all that shit. <laughs> them pedigrees, all them brothers got the same pedigrees. Whether it's Jeep, Red Boy, Jocko, this, that, this. You ain't the only one with these pedigrees. It's no matter what bloodline you got. You might be the only one with that particular dog. That got something off that particular dog coming off them strain of dogs. But still... At the end of the day, the next man pedigree going to look about close to what your pedigree look like. You just got to hope your dogs are different. If brothers relying on these pedigrees, you know. The pedigree can't be relied on. From what I'm seeing and how these so-called big dog breeders ain't keeping it real. Not breeding what they supposed to be breeding. Keeping these papers. Breeding them off this, saying they off a grand champion this and grand champion that. And it's not coming off that. Ask Chico, man. Y'all stop calling the man names. Y'all stop calling that man so many names. And stop hating so much. Maybe he'll tell you some of them dogs y'all got in y'all pedigree that ain't real. The real deal Holyfield shit. You might learn something. You can't learn that because you're steady trying to tell the man who telling you that them dogs you getting is bullshit. But it is what it is, man. I ain't, it's y'all money. You got to spend it how you want to spend it. You know what I'm saying? 
spin it how you want to spin it. Y'all stay safe out there, man. PBK9s, and I'm out.